Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of the Emperor! Last time, we brought Guan Yu back into the traveling party there, and since he's got quite a bit of strength and finally has over a thousand soldiers, I want to move my equipment around a little bit there. Let's get the bow over to Wen Wen, and then get the sword over to Guan Yu, since he has a lot more strength there. And that'll work out for my needs. So now, let's head on over to Shu in Chapter 6. Now that we're going to be going into Chapter 6, generals that increase their agility by chapter will have double their base agility and it'll remain that way for the remainder of the game there and that'll be good enough for my needs. I generally don't worry too much about agility. I mean I don't want them to be like god awful but as long as I got a decent amount that'll be fine. It's not like my last LP where I really needed to make sure that everyone on my team was faster than everyone on the other. And let's see, as far as the random uh, enemies go, once you get into Shu, I think you're only going to be encountering rebel forces as far as random generics go. If you actually do encounter, like, bandits or pirates again, you probably stepped into an enemy domain that is barely in, like, a previous chapter territory. Okay, how are we looking here? Very nice. I want to make sure that I have at least 18,800 experience moving forward from here. And you'll see why. So now, we're going past Ling Ling Castle. And that's how we're going to be getting to Shu. Though, I'm not going to go too far into the territory just yet. Okay, so once we're here, we're far south enough into Shu territory, and there's a particular general that I'm looking for around here, so let's take a look around for him. And there he is! Lubu! For one final confrontation there. Way more soldiers than before, though less intelligence. So, let's take him out. Now that we've got Zhuge Liang as my tactician, we can use Beiji, the tactic that I would have learned at 18, if I had, at level 18, if I had enough intelligence at the time, which I did not. So now, yeah, Beiji, it doubles your damage with physical attacks and your tactics. So that's pretty nice. But I definitely want to have Juro against Lubu there. Yeah, Beiji costs 10 TP, but it is totally worth it. I also want to use our new Yizing tactic on Lubu there to paralyze him. I'm not exactly worried about Guan Yu's soldiers. He's going to be using tactics mostly anyway. But as you can see, now we've got Lubu paralyzed there. I don't use Yizing a ton in the game because it only works on one general, but... For now, it's useful. So, a little bit of crowd control there. Okay, then, let's see. Let's get on the offense, then. Let's go Yan Rei. Let's see, Guo Tu. Let's get Beiji going. And then, for Guan Yu. Uh, yeah, let's get Beiji on Yu. And that should be good, then. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.G. Bailey, you've got a tactician in the seventh slot of your traveling party. Didn't you tell us that that would be disastrous? Uh, in this case, that is not the case. This is one of, I think, two instances, or maybe more, I forget. But there's very, very few instances where that will not be a problem. Okay, so now let's get Yan Rei going on all these guys. Finish them off there. Or at least as much as we can. Yeah, we can do all right. But yeah, each round, Lu Bu can potentially void using, just like my party did. Yeah, you see how his 
portrait popped up there for an instant. That was the game checking. Hey, are you gonna get rid of this thing? No? Okay, get out of there. So yeah, that's how that all works, but it usually is pretty reliable. Okay, now we can go all out. Ha ha. Yeah, pretty much, both literally and figuratively. But yeah, I heard that if you kill Lu Bu here, you can still go back to the end of Chapter 4 if you skip to that and fight him again, even though he was already dead. <laughs> so, but we got him! Hooray! And we gained a level! So that's why I wanted 18,800 experience, so that way I would make sure that I would gain the level. So now we get more soldiers. And we also learned Li Jian for Ma Su, but not Zhuge Liang. My interpretation of why that is, is because not only do tactics have a minimum intelligence requirement to learn them, but they also have a maximum or a cap to them as well. So Zhuge Liang can't learn that tactic, and as a result, it does not trigger the chest glitch. So that's pretty nice. So that's why this is one of the rare instances of why it's okay to have a tactician in the seventh slot. You have to actually learn the tactic in order to uh, trigger the glitch there. Uh, let's see, so with Masu, let's see, for the Jian, you need to have between 157 and 218 intelligence in order to have access to that tactic. Another theory I heard was that some tactics have priority over others in each of those six tactic slots. Uh, other than, you know, being the newly learned one, having priority over the previous one, which is usually the case, but not in this case, oddly enough, if that's how it works, I don't precisely know. But in any case, yeah, we used a lot of TP in that battle, so let's get back to Changsha and heal up, and I need to change up my party quite a bit too. Another thing about Chapter 6 is that the encounter rate for fighting generals in random battles is now 1 in 2 instead of 1 in 4. So you're going to encounter generals a lot more often, which will make them easier to recruit, and we're also going to get a lot more money as a result of fighting them. So that's part of why money is no longer going to be a problem for the remainder of the game, as long as you fight those generals. But now that we've gained another level, let's see, I want to remove Wen Wen from the party. Your services will no longer be required. And I want to add Huang Zhong, who now will have over a thousand soldiers there. And let's see, we can, uh, yeah, just get rid of Wen Wen there. I think I can also get rid of Yan Liang there as well. Okay, that'll be good. And then I want to remove Masu from the party, but I want to hold on to him for later for another instance of where uh, the seventh slot is okay to have a tactician there. Okay, and then... Okay, so yeah, we got rid of Masu. Hold on to him for later. I want to bring Zhao Yun into the party, even though he doesn't quite have a thousand soldiers left, or yet, but when we gain a level, he will, and then I'll bring him into the main party there. Okay, and then for the equipment there, let's get the sword off of Wei On there. And then let's get the bow over to him, because Huang Zhong has more strength than Wei On there. And all of the Tiger Generals that I have, in fact, I think I have all of them up to this point, they all have that double agility effect from being in Chapter 6 for the remainder of the game. Okay, then, yeah, get the sword over to him, and that should be good. Oh, we already equipped that. Okay, so we got all that. I'm still going to leave Chi Ma on Guan Yu for now. Okay, good. Everyone is 
set up there. And then for my lineup here, let's see, I think we can put, yeah, Zhang Fei at the front of the party. But then everyone else, let's see, we'll just go like this. That ought to be good. And as far as, uh, yeah, Huan Zhong's stats go, he's got really good strength, decent intelligence. And decent agility, too. Though I'm not as concerned about that at this point. And, okay, you got the steeds. But I'm going to give them over to Zhigliang because I'm never going to use... Well, not never, but... I will rarely put him in the active party. There are some times where I want to actually use his intelligence. But this is not one of those times. Okay, and then I want to... Uh, stack up on some items for the upcoming trip, namely Elixir Seas, because we've got a very, very long walk coming up here before getting access to another healing point. And I want to save as much of my TP as I can. So I think five Elixir Seas ought to get the job done. Let's see, we got all that. Yeah, I think we're good to go then. So yeah, this is, yeah, the first of many long walks that we've got. How long will it be before we get to a fortified area? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.